What's up, guys? Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are having a great evening. I don't know if you were listening to that last song before this one, but that song rips, man. It sounds like Steve Vai. But these are actually all um, license-free music from YouTube. It's kind of a cool thing that they give creators. But anyway, happy Thursday, guys. Hope you guys are having a great week. Sorry I missed Tuesday. I had some stuff going on, but uh, I figured we'd do a group flight tonight. We're going to be starting in, um, we're going to be in Alaska starting at Juneau. And working our way south, about 140 miles, 145 miles. So, be a nice, uh, nice trip. Appreciate you guys hanging out tonight. Joseph, welcome to the stream. Alan, how you doing? Sacrilegious, good to see you there. All right, let's get to it, guys. So we've got the. We're going to be in the SR22 tonight. Um, yeah, I, I thought the same thing, uh, Sacrilegious, that the Vision Jet would be a great ad, but I think before we wish for that, <laughs> not to start in with the negativity, but let's, let's let them get the other jets right first <laughs> before the ad, that, unless, you know, Carinato or, well, I, I mean, anyway. Let's 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 get their other jets right first. All right, so um, we're going to be in the SR twenty two, the beautiful SR twenty two, one of my favorite planes. Even though in this simulator it's actually an SR twenty, really it looks like an SR twenty, but that's okay. Um, it's still a cool plane. A cool plane. Um, if you look in the description, I've got the flight plan in there with all the waypoints that we're going to follow. Uh, let's see. So let me pull that up here on Sky Vector. Let me see if we're going to S our way down. We're going to start here at uh, Juno, and we're going to fly along the river here, or I should say the, I guess it's a bay, Passage Bay, Sound, Passage Sound. And in between these wonderful mountains, make a right-hand turn, or sorry, left-hand turn here, and we'll end up coming into uh, Wrangell which I've never landed at, but it seems to be a reasonable airport. And you can see what I try to do is just uh, avoid any any peaks so that we could fly, uh, I'd say, about like 2,000 feet and have a nice uh, have a nice view. We may have to modify that. We'll see. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking 2,000. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the flight for tonight, if you guys. I'm going to be on the USA Eastern... Um, what do you call it? Uh, server, if you will. If you want to join me there. Did I get four flight working? Yeah, I, you know, I don't actually subscribe to four flight anymore. I did for a long time. I use Flight Plan Go, so I want to try to get that working first. But Flight Plan Go, uh, they still haven't um, fixed compatibility with iOS 14, and I already upgraded my my uh, iPad, so. Yeah, I was asking you about that. I appreciate that. I'm going to try to make it work with Flight Plan Go. I think it should work, hopefully. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, I have to wait for them to uh, to get iOS going. But anyway, listen, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and that little uh, uh, notification bell. So this way, when I'm streaming, you'll get a notification. Or if I schedule a stream, you'll find out about it. And if you want to hit the like button, that would be awesome. Or if you want to hit the don't like button... That's cool, too, whichever one you like. Um, but, yeah, if you could do that, I'd appreciate it. If, and also consider joining the channel, $1.99 a month. You get the free emojis and uh, get the little uh, little pilot's icon next to your uh, next to your uh, name and chat and all that stuff. So, and, and it's a great way to support the channel. I appreciate all the support. So, in any event, let's get to it. So, we're going to be in the... Um, SR-22. I already have the flight plan in here. Okay. Um, just make sure I got that right. So we're going Juno to Glass to Saxory to Yukisebe, whatever it is, Toma to Exidy to Figvi to Wrangell, right? Um, I had to actually entered this in to, um, uh, I actually entered this in here just basically by 
saying the, the, the um, departure and destination runways first, and then entering each one of these waypoints in succession. You can do that. I'm hoping for the day when they allow you to like edit this. That would be awesome, but they don't allow you to do that. I don't know why you can highlight that. Maybe it just takes you to it. I don't want to mess with it. Um, so as, fly, as far as flight conditions, we're going to be um, all players. We're going to leave uh, air traffic off. Uh, let me go. Oh, I know what I got to do. I got to turn on the, um, oh crap. I got to go back and I got to go to options and I got to go. Is it under assistance where traffic? Yeah. Show nameplate so we can see you guys fly. Okay. Good. Welcome back here. And we should have it still loaded up. Yep. We still got it loaded up. Hey, Bruce, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Are you going to fly with us today? Hope, hopefully you guys are going to fly. Um, we'll hang out at Juno. I was going to do cold and dark, but I'm, I don't think I can. I think I tried this before. And like, if you load up at a ramp, it doesn't like let you do everything else. I think I can't remember. So I just want, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to. We're just going to go uh, uh, with this puppy uh, ready to go, all right? And uh, we're taking off the other way. Why did it change that? I changed it. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Let's make sure, let's double check the, the uh, arrival to make sure that's right because it, it screwed that up. Yeah, it screwed that up too. That is not what I put in the lo the plant. Let me just see if I can load this again because I saved it. <sighs> let's see how. Let's see what it does here. See, that is not what I. That's not the plan that I set. I had it leaving from this runway. And I don't feel like going through and entering all these damn waypoints again. But I know if I change this, like, look, watch. If I change this, it deletes everything. So that's a bug. You set the runway you want to leave on. You save the flight plan. And then when you load it again, it does. It just goes to whatever friggin' runway that you want it to go to it wants to go to ridiculous all right well we'll just we'll just fly the way it is yeah shocker don't give me okay i'm gonna try i'm trying I'm, try, I'm gonna try i'm gonna really try not to rant <laughs> holding up the orlando contingent okay i mean i swear when I set up this flight plan, I started here, runway 8, and I set my first waypoint right here because it came in perfectly. That just really, really bothers me. That really bothers me. All right, we'll just have to deal with it. All right, we're going to go fly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, this, it's, a, it's. Yeah, but the problem is when you do the runway at the end, it, it removes, it's, for me, it removes all the other waypoints. It's like a, it's like a moving target. No, nah, I'm not going to get into it because I I don't want to be I don't want to be ultra negative again on this thing. It's a game, all right. There you go. It's a game. Treat it like a game. Yeah, but I set the flight plan. I set the flight plan. I saved the flight plan, and when I reloaded it in, it changed the departure and runways. It shouldn't be like that. Tower, I set November, the departure runways. Tango Delta ready for south departure at runway 26. Now let's even see if the flight plan's in there. 
Yeah, it's in there. Okay. Hey, thanks for the subscription there, Tiger Lady eighteen twenty eight. Appreciate that. Thanks for subscribing. I really do appreciate that. And welcome to Bambino Tech in the stream. Streaming usually every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Well, Tuesday, Thursday at 8 p.m. and Saturday mornings at uh, 9.30 usually, a.m. Eastern Time. They're letting you change while you fly. I haven't tried even tried to change a flight plan in flight yet. I haven't even tried that yet. Maybe someday. Yeah, she's she's back. She's back there pounding away. All right, we're gonna go nav. Uh, flight director, we're going to set our level at uh, where is it? We're gonna go to uh, we said two thousand. We'll just make it twenty five hundred. No, three thousand. We're gonna go to three thousand. We're gonna we're we're not gonna even take a chance of using I, uh, IAS. So we're gonna go. Uh, we'll go slow climb of uh, 600 feet per minute. And so we should just be able to nail that autopilot button and we should be good to go. Get the caution. I don't want the alerts on. I want to see that. So another bug that's, um, I know of for sure is that this flight plan insert here, these distances will never change. Now, in the real G1000, uh, they all change as you get, as you increment, get closer to the waypoint, the nautical miles reduces. And this will not, you'll notice as we fly here that this does not do that. So but that's been a problem for a while. All right. Um, who's here? Let's see. Flinty Robin, I don't think was with us. Okay, we've got... Uh, I don't know why you're not showing up now. Alan, are you here? Is that you right there? Wait, you're a Garmin dealer, sacrilegious? <laughs> oh, you're runway eight. Okay, so you're over there. Okay. Oh, really? Okay, cool. I've actually, I've actually owned Garmin products in real life. I don't know what the hell that was. That sound. There. Uh, I was a, in real life, I was a uh, a Garmin. Uh, product owner on my boat. I had the GPS system on a couple boats. Back in my days when I was a boater. Alright, cool. We'll wait for you here. We'll wait a few minutes. Oh, man. I gotta make sure I got enough fuel. I always forget about the fuel. Uh... That should be plenty. We're only going 145 miles, which should be plenty. Are right, we going to set our flaps to take off? And oh yeah, the the uh, their watch. Yeah, I, I guess it's pretty cool. I I, I haven't. My wife had a GPS watch for uh, for running a while back. They make great products. Obviously, they they make amazing um, navigation products. Maybe they should send a representative over to a Sobo. Maybe they probably one is one there. To tell you the truth. All right, not too many people joining the group flight tonight. Oh, well. Maybe they're watching the uh, town halls of the two presidential candidates. 
I wonder if Twitter's back up. Jeez, Twitter has been down for like uh, uh, a while. Let's see if it's. I'm just checking to see if it's still down. It's been down for a while. I have I have a theory of why Twitter is down. It looks like they're back up. Yeah, it looks like they're back up. I have I have a uh, I have a theory. Yeah, it's well everything's Trump's fault. Um I have a fe I have a theory and my theory is that Jack knows he's getting called into Congress. So they shut it down to clean everything up. <laughs> They shut it down to do a cleanup in case the uh, the FBI comes in and wants to examine why they didn't want to post a uh, a news or allow URLs to a news article. It's really sick. All right. Anyway, so um, I think we're good to go, guys. Yeah, the New York Post, exactly. Um, All right, so uh, I guess you guys have the flight plan. We'll just take off and uh, see how she goes, all right? I'm, I'm going to fly probably about 150 knots, 160 knots, somewhere around there. All right, that's cool. Here we go. Where's my parking brake? Is this, where's the parking brake? Oh, sorry. All right, let's go. You own a gun company. Oh. What do you think of Weatherby shotguns there, sacrilegious? I've heard good things about them. Are we allowed to talk about uh, firearms on YouTube? I think we are. No, actually, sh sh yeah, the shotgun is what I'm looking at. Um, the semi-automatic, oh, well, either the pump or the semi. Yeah, I, that's what I heard, and they're very reasonable. Are they made in Turkey? I think they're made in Turkey. But I, I have a friend who's a big hunter, and... Uh, Uh, yeah, that, that, some places you can get him. He's, um, he's a big hunter, and he highly recommends them. They're, they're reasonably priced. They don't break down. They are, you know, they're reliable. Yeah, a lot of people really like them. I was actually, like, looking at, like, the um, Mossbergs. And, uh... Yeah, but everyone says, like, Weatherby's the one to go with. All right, so we made our turnaround here. No. All right, I'm going to get my autopilot on now and see what happens. Let's see what she does. Let's see what the plane does. Okay. Oh, I know what I... I got to put my CDI on. Could that be help? Yes, I'm, I'm in the market for either a pump or a semi. I don't think I want to fly that close to the mountains. I think I want to fly. Cirrus 8 Tango Delta, please acknowledge. We're just going to go over here. So I really, I wanted to fly down this. First of all, let me change the damn time here. So we can see... But the Mossbergs are impossible to get to. Now, Sacrilege, do you own a gun manufacturing company or do you own a, a, a store?
Yeah, the Benellis, you get into a little priciness. The shotguns, you know. They're beautiful, obviously. Mainly, okay, so you make custom guns. Cool. So you're a smith. So I'm just going to hand fly here. See who's following. Anybody follow me? All right, there we go. We got a few people behind me. Nice. Full Trotter, Martog, Lonely Robo. I love that name. <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> That's an excellent name. I see. Cool. So you make custom firearms? All right, Shane, we're taking it slow. I'm only doing 150. We're taking it kind of slow. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to put a little snow in the ground. That's what I wanted to do, snow depth. That didn't seem to work. Diesel, how you doing? Good to see you tonight. Snow didn't seem to work. Good to see you, man. Yeah, sorry I haven't been on uh, on air. I just haven't had the time. Um, I just haven't had the time. My... Uh, my day job has been very demanding the last couple of weeks, which is good. I mean, it's all good. But, uh, yeah, I just haven't had the time. Sometimes you just get caught up in life, you know? All right, we got a, we got an armada going there. Now, the waypoints would have been perfect if... Uh, if I hadn't, uh, if they, uh, actually, I'm going to adjust my altitude. I don't think I want to be at 3,000. I think I want to be at 2,500. So we're going to go, but we're just going to go level. Engaging autopilot. That level button's awesome. Because it basically keeps you on heading. And it just maintains level flight. Although it's not, it's not working. Well, that's not good. What? Okay, so I got the heading button, and it's not following the heading? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> that was strange. I've been running around the Caribbean. Awesome. Yeah, so I just, I just, I just, I just... Okay, so I just basically try to fly the heading bug, and it's assuming navigate the navigation, which I guess I can go to now, but let's just try that again and see what happens. Engaging autopilot. Yeah, see, it's, it thinks it's nav. All right, so heading doesn't work. Okay. So that doesn't work. And uh, let's do vertical speed, get up to 2,600. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is going on? This thing better make a left-hand turn here. Come on, turn left. Never a dull moment in FS 2020. <laughs> it's it's trying to find the magenta. It's trying to find. I mean, I got it on nav. It says GPS AP altitude twenty five hundred, which it's coming to. Uh, it's it's just going all over the place. I don't understand it, but 
Hey, sounds like... Or I'm just going to call you Jazz. Jazz, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming and hanging out. We're, uh, we're enjoying the, um, the, the surprises in the autopilot on the SR-22, which is really an SR-20, but at least to me it looks like it, because if you notice, it doesn't have oxygen. SR-22s have oxygen, unless it doesn't have the option. It does have uh, the uh, cap system, though, which is good. We're trying to get ourselves back on the magenta here. I'm doing great, man. Thanks for asking. All right, we got our 2500. And it looks like the autopilot has figured out where it is in space. So we're slowly getting, and if you notice, I'm going to just pull this up here. Let me just go to, uh, that's not it. I'm going to go to here. And if you r scroll in here, you can see that these numbers don't move. They really should be moving. Okay, the other problem with this GPS is that it gives you... It only gives you um, time to your next waypoint. It doesn't give you time to the um, final destination, which G1000 is supposed to give you. Here you get the... You, you only get nautical miles to the next waypoint right here. Okay. So right now, I really don't know, unless I have a calculator, I can't, I ha or I can add really quick in my head, I can't figure out how far I have to my destination. That's a flaw, right? So anyway, just some interesting things with the G1000. All right, there you go. Thor dude. Who's Thor dude? Whoa, look at that. What's going on there? Oh, in, well, in real life, yes, it's a real life system. Um, it doesn't quite operate in real life in this simulator. <laughs> oh, wow, my uh, thing just broke. Oh, wait, what the hell happened here? Uh-oh. 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 Planes still making noise. No, I'm not. I haven't crashed. Uh, can you guys? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> uh, oh, there he goes. It's gone. It's it's history. It's history. I'd still make a noise though. Oh, there we go. Can you guys see it again? Can you guys see it again? So you know what happened there, um, I have a stream deck, small stream deck that I use, which is a USB device. It, I plugged it into a different USB port because it wasn't working, and it froze uh, Flight Simulator. So apparently Flight Simulator doesn't like it when you, uh, when you add new USB devices while it's flying. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, let's see who's with us here. Okay, Martog, Lonely, Lonely Rowboat, and Full Trotter, Thor Dude, stops planes in midair for pictures, there you go, let's hear the picture of that, <laughs> I, I, I had a micro, I had a micro rant, Alex. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, because the 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 uh, uh, it's pretty obviously, at least in this plane, that when you switch from nav to heading in the autopilot, it doesn't know what it doesn't obey what the heading is. I think I actually had one before that happened about uh, what the hell was it? I can't even remember what the hell it was. Oh, it's because it changed my flight plan. I saved the flight plan, and it changed the runways I was using. So when I reloaded the flight plan, it just shows its own. It shows its own runways. So, you know, mind of its own. It's you know, it's real world. It's like highly predictable. <laughs> Hey, listen, man, it makes for good content. So in a selfish way, as a, as a content creator, I love it. But listen, looks great. Flies like crap, you won't care, right? That's the motto. I wonder if I could actually get away with selling those t-shirts. I had uh, I had a little bit of a discussion with someone on the VR Aviators group today about uh, the Quest. Um, someone was saying that I'm overly negative. I think that's what they said. That he can't couldn't help but notice how overly negative I am about the Quest Two. Okay, because I have posted four negative posts and I haven't posted anything good about it. So what am I supposed to do? Be fake? <laughs> I mean, my opinion is I would never own one. So, and I have reasons, and I'm and stuff is coming out now. People are, people are loading them up, and they're they're uh, they're getting um, uh, locked out of Facebook. Okay, um, and uh, Saturday morning, Joseph, nine thirty a.m. Eastern. I'll be on. I'll be on next. Probably be doing either on air or uh, or. Um, uh, FS Economy. But, yeah, so yeah, if you want to join that, it'd be awesome. Awesome to have you. Appreciate you joining tonight. It's in the Steam folder. Why? Do you have, is there a reason? Is there an issue with that? It's in the Steam folder. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, the Quest 2. Yeah, so... Um, oh, you're waiting for your email. All right, cool. Um, yeah, well, join, AV join VR Aviation when you get uh, when you get your sign-up. Oh, we got a, we got a good group, a bunch of planes you can fly. Hopefully you can fly for us. Got a nice FBO in um, Cape May and, uh, and uh, Roanoke, Virginia. Cool, Some cool places to fly. But um, you know, on the Quest 2, um, hey, listen, I, I would never say to someone, don't buy it. I've never used those words. I've never said, don't buy it, right? It's up to people to make their own decisions of what they, you know, want to do and what they don't want to do. I, I'm, you know, I'm, telling, I'm saying to you, I wouldn't buy it, right? And I give the reasons why. And I'm not alone. I mean, there's a lot of people that agree with me. I mean, I watched a video from John Kamarak, who's the CTO of, of Oculus, and he was basically talking about it as if it's not really ready. So, you know, right there, even if it wasn't tied to uh, Facebook uh, Terms of Service, I've got some concerns about it, technically, you know. And, you know, I've already gone through the math, and one of my streams, I went through the math that by the time you, if you buy that 256 gig version of the Quest 2, by the time you get the better strap and you get the link cable, um, there was something else. Can't remember what the hell it was. Anyway, I think, well, those are the two big ones. It ends up being like $540, which is basically $60, or it's $560. It's like $40 less than a, a HP Reverb G2, which pound for pound is a better headset. It's got two panels instead of one. It's got an easily adjustable IPD. A lot of other, you know, much better uh, resolution, higher resolution. Um, 
you know, there's a lot of reasons why you'd want a G2 over a Quest 2 for 40 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever it is, right? So, anyway, to clear the air, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm being negative about it. I feel like I'm being realistic about it. You know, when the first week that it's out, you start seeing, you know, uh, news reports about how people are getting locked out of their Facebook accounts and they're act- they actually have to return the headset because they can't use it because they're permanently banned from Facebook. I mean, to me, that's, that's a little bit of a doubt, <laughs> right? So if I'm going to fire that thing up for the first time with a link, you know, and, I, and I'm saying to myself, geez, is my Facebook account going to get locked out? Well, there's some um, there's there's ways around that, Joseph. Um, most headsets you can uh, most headsets you can. Um, there's a company I can't remember the name of it. Google it. Just Google uh, eyeglasses for VR headsets, something like that. Hey, Lash Shadow, Eric, how you doing, guys? Thanks for joining. I'll answer your question in one second, there, Eric. Uh, but um, there's a company. Um, that you can definitely check out, and they make inserts. You give them your prescription, they make inserts so that you can wear your glasses and use a headset. Now, I will tell you this. I wear reading glasses, 1.25 I, I use for reading glasses. I don't need reading glasses when I have a VR headset, and I'm not the only one. A lot of people will say the same thing. If they use re- reading glasses, like they have slight you know, vision correction, like reading glasses... They, it, you don't need, you don't, you know, for me, I don't need my reading glasses when I'm using the headset. So, but check it out. Let me see if I can just Google it real quick for you. Uh, VR eyeglass inserts. Here it is. This is the company. Now, I, it depends on... And they make it for different... A lot of different devices. But here's the company. Check this company out. All right? Um, Eric, have any have you any deg- uh, deg- uh, degraded performance since the last update? I haven't noticed any, Eric. Um, I can tell you that a lot of things that were problems before are still problems. Um, I don't think they fixed a whole lot in the last patch. It was a pretty slim list of stuff that they fixed. But I haven't noticed any um, performance degradation. Have you, I'm just curious if you're asking because you have or... No problem, Joseph. Yeah, that, I, that company's been around for a while. Um, they came, they were, they've been around since like the Oculus um, CV1 came out, which was like four years ago. So, And, and like I said, they've, if you look at their website, they've got lenses for pretty much every headset and when a new one comes out they create them which is cool so that way people like you that need that had need vision correction can use vr and actually i think they make i think you can get them with blue blocker which is probably a good idea like blocking blue light because i always worry about that your your eyes are so close to um the panels in a headset. I always worry about like you know uh, blue light, and if that has an effect on your eyesight, you know you're damaging your eyes. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. Yeah, you notice some things suddenly drop some. Okay, well that's a pretty big drop. Um, yeah, that's, that seems like a big drop. I mean, is it, when it drops down, are you getting stuttering and stuff? Don't rule out the internet. Don't rule that out. Because, um, you have to, you have to have the cloud-based scenery in the equation for bottlenecking. You know, you have to.
Let's see how long we are, how far we got to go here. Oh, since I can't really calculate it. So if I do this, I should be able to scroll. Okay, there you go. So we got 18, 6, 15, 19, 35. So I, see, I got to add all that together. To, so what is that? 20... 4, 30, 40, 60. We got about we got about 100 miles left, I guess. Shouldn't have to do that as a pilot. It should be just right there. It falls down, so stays there for a while, then jumps back up again. Yeah, even though you have a good internet connection, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get stuttering from the internet because. Think of it as you got a pipe, and your pipe is fine. It's like a nice big pipe, but Microsoft isn't always throwing the same amount of water down that pipe. Sometimes it's a big amount of water. Sometimes it's a little amount of water. Sometimes it sends um, a packet of water, and it gets lost, so it has to be resent. There's a lot of things that happen in the, in the, in the network um that can um it uh, that can uh um affect certainly stuttering but if you're getting down to 15 and 16 you sh that's no good i mean you got to be you should be at least 30 you should be at least 30 when you start to go below 20 in most simulators you actually stop keeping up with regular time because regular time is like 20 frames per second, I think it is somewhere. Like, I know that is an X-Plane. Um, I usually, I mean, it, it pretty much varies. I'll usually, I'll fly this plane, the TDM 930, if I'm in my, in flight simulator. Um, I like to fly the, the Citation Longitude, but that's such an unpredictable jet. Um, and... Uh, sometimes a Cessna. In X plane, I'll fly the DA62, the PC12, the Challenger 300, which I love to fly, and those are all in VR. Uh, anything I do in X plane on when I stream is in VR. Uh, what else do I fly? DA62. Oh, uh, the S. Oh, the Torque Sim. Torque Sim's SR22, which is an amazing, amazing study level plane. It's a great, great, great plane. Let's check out. Oh, look at this. We've got lots of guys now. How you doing, guys? Excellent groove flight. Let's see if we can pick some planes out here. There's Lonely. Let me see if I can... F Is that a... Uh... Ah, there's an SR-22. Thor dude. Hard to make out. Oh, there's the DA. Oh, fly. Full Trotter's flying the DA-62. All right. <laughs> One of my favorite planes. Nice. Uh, add, be add bearing to your PFD. How do I do that? Alan, how do I do that? PFD. Oh, BRG1. Oh, okay. Okay. It says no data. Oh, I see. It t oh, I see. Oh, okay. So that's still just telling you, it's telling you this, right? Distance to your next waypoint, right? There's no way of this Fakakta G1000 to give you uh, destination, time, and 
distance and time to destination, which is what you should have. We all know that. Look on the SR-22 and explain the torque sim. It gives you distance to destination and time to destination. And actually, it tells you how much fuel you'll have in your tank when you reach the destination, which is what the real SR-22 does. It gives you all that. It calculates all that information for you, you know. Uh, Joe, oh, you worked for Cessna for, well, let me go back here. Make sure I didn't miss any, oops, sorry. Uh, Eric, you just had a flight with TDM and, and VRX plane. Oh, cool. Yeah, I totally agree with you, man. It's like jumping into a, a cool, cool water pool on a hot day when you go back into VR from 2D, in my opinion. So you work for Cessna. That's pretty cool, man. What did you do for them, Joseph? I'm just curious. A CJ4 I haven't tried yet. Maybe I'll give that a shot. Maybe I'll give that a shot. I love the longitude. I just wish they would fix the fuel burn and all that. Oh, yeah, I can get one of those for the the, the Aerobass DA62. That bothers me about on-air. I mean, you should have a DA62, and it should work in whatever. There shouldn't be a this one and a that one. It should just be a DA62, and it works whether you got Microsoft. So i got to spend an extra 200 grand in, in, in on-air to do that? That's It's ridiculous. But, yeah, I, I agree. I would like to have that, too, because... I much rather fly in VR than in 2D. When I'm, you know, I, I fly in 2D because, you know, people on the stream like it. I like it sometimes because, you know, the scenery. But I would much rather fly in in, 2D, in 3D. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll take care of that. I, I'll, I think the DA62 is a good one. I, I'm gonna buy one of those. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, I wanted to tell you guys, I tried to fly the the Dreamliner 787 because I'm saying to myself, I want to learn to fly a big jet. And the 787 seems to be a lot more automated, although it might be more complicated to learn. There seems to be a lot more automation. So I was thinking, hey, maybe I'll fly that. What's going on with my GPS here? All right, um, so I tried flying the, the 787 Dreamliner. Hey, there's Thor, dude. And it looks like a TBM. Um, oh, my God, that thing has a mind of its own. The, 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 um, uh, the LNAV, I guess it's LNAV. The LNAV literally has a mind of its own. You started out as an AMP mechanic, advanced to maintenance. Okay. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, Joseph, did you ever fly? I mean, did you do you have your private pilot's license? Whoa. There's USA PR1 in the 350. He likes that 350. Oh, we're making a turn there, looks like. Look at Trotter. <laughs> Trotter's taking the flank. Let's check out some of the scenery, man. That's just kind of like water, right?
All right, so it looks like we got, let's see, 24. We got 24 miles to X, uh, XADZY. And then we got another 35, and then we got another 4, so. Do I make airports? No, I haven't ventured into doing that. Um, I thought about doing it. I just don't. I was I start I started doing liveries, and that was so complicated. I said I just don't have the time to figure this out. Um, and then I thought about doing airports, but I just again I don't have the time to do it. I think there's a great market though if you can learn how to do that um, and get popular airports in that marketplace I have a couple of ideas of what would be really popular ones um, base them off of like um, uh, FS economy and um, on air but yeah I mean I think there's some market market there because you could probably charge you know up to 20 like 20 bucks an airport if you really do a nice job and it's a well-known airport that's one thing I will say. They've created a nice third-party market and an easy way to implement it. I don't know what kind of a pop they're taking. My guess is it's 20 to 30%. But, um, you know, for those of you that are talented that can create, I guess they're not selling liveries, although they probably should allow you to sell liveries. You enjoyed playing golf in your free time. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Uh, but yeah, um, are you? Do you make? Do you do airports, uh, Eric? Oh, you know what? I better switch my tank. I probably should cut down on the fuel consumption a little bit here. See, like, you don't have the the whole engine display where you can... Uh, uh, oh, oh, shit. Boy, that was... I just barely touched the mixture and it almost cut my engine off. All right, so we're not going to mess with that. Please. Let's see who's behind. You learn Blender. That's cool, man. Um, you know what? Do me a favor. Um, if you if you have them, uh, I don't I don't know if there's a way I can allow you to post a link. Let me see if I can. No, I can't. Uh, if you're on my Discord, um, like post a link in the in my Discord under the FS2020 um, channel, and if you want to let people know where your you know where your airports are available, you know feel free to do that because I like to check them out for sure. Are they uh, any particular region that you're doing? I think it's a really cool thing, and as you get better at it. You could probably you get to payware level, you know. Norway, awesome. Yeah, some beautiful areas, right, in Norway. Some beautiful areas. I think the value there is obviously like, you know, looking at like um, a really good one to, to look at is uh, Aspen. And the va a lot of the value is the, the, the little things about the scenery, you know, about the where the trees are and how the grass is and how the dirt is and all that little detail is what really helps the eye like you know see it and enjoy it you know that's cool yeah so i'd have to learn blender and if you have an artistic bent then it's you know 
Like I said, it's 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 kind of cool that they have that third party for people that you know want to buy those extra airports. You know. I just wish I had the time to do it. Got so many other things to do, you know. So many it's good to be busy, but having all those other things to do, you can't do everything, so you got to choose a thing you like to do, you know. I mean, I try to play guitar an hour a day, I try to read an hour a day. All those hours add up. That's why one of the reasons, well, um, I did at one time have the Facebook app on my phone. And I removed it for a couple reasons. One is the privacy reason. And the other is that I did a calculation and I did some analysis and I figured out that I was literally spending two man weeks a year looking at Facebook on my phone. And I said to myself, that's 14 days. 14, not like waking days, 14 24-hour cycles. That's how much time I was spending. And I said to myself, that's insane. I could be doing a, I could be doing a lot with that time. That's one day a month. Right? More than a day a month that I'm spending looking at my phone on that bloody application. So I deleted it. And I don't look at it anymore. I do stuff on my PC, on a VPN, you know, for the channel and stuff like that, and the groups that I run. But other than that, I got that time back, and I use it for other stuff, you know? Started just to edit... Oh, you started editing airports with the... Okay, with the presence in the sim, using sober assets and build the Lego bricks. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, they have a lot of work to do. I agree with you. It's a good start. Um, but I'll have to say that I believe that they sold everybody a beta program, but they sold them to the guys that it was a... That it was a they never said, buy this, It's but it's not really complete. They never said that, right? They just said, look at all these great marketing videos. Look how great this is. All these videos about... Oh, here's we, we, we copied this flight model and we spent this time on this and the weather and all this and the wind and this and that and other thing. And the reality was that they were they delivered a beta product, a almost beta product. It's still a beta product. That's my problem with it. That's one uh, that's one of the problems I have. I think they misrepresented what they were selling people. Had they come up had they come out and said, Listen, buy it now, it's you know, it's almost ready, it's got some problems, okay? Uh, but, you know, we're going to get there. And I know we know everybody's really anxious, and we've got enough so that you can enjoy it, but you're going to have some glitches. I think people would have bought it going into it. But it's like, it's a, to me, it's a classic, it's a, not classic, it's a bait and switch. There's no doubt, there's no doubt about it that they represented something that they didn't have. Right? They, they represented something that they didn't have. Yeah, I mean, come on. You're two months into the release of the product and everything is coming. Oh, Rich, you're going to cut your corner and go to Pog. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. What are you flying there, dude? You want us to slow down a little bit for you? Oh, this, you're, oh, you're in a, uh, okay, Baron, a G36. So this is, are you Martog, I guess? Martog 12? Let 
going to cut the corner. We got a decent showing tonight. One, let's see, we got one, one, two, three, I think there's two here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven planes, including myself. Not bad. That's pretty good showing. We'll get when we land at uh, what is it called uh, Wrangell. We'll get a group photo there. Five days, jeez, yeah. See, I mean that's not. I mean, I've I've gone over these points before, but it's like you know, and I know it's beating a dead horse, and I think we all know that. Yeah, of course they're going to get better over time. You know, yes. But it should have been better out of the box, or they should have represented it and said, "Look, it's pre, -be it's beta, okay, or it's." They could even have said early release. It's early release, so that people know they're going they're going to have a little problem here and there, or you know they're going to have problems. You know? I mean, everybody on that day, August eighteenth, I think it was the day. No one said to themselves, geez, I'm paying $120 for the max package here, and but I'm expecting it to have a lot of problems. No one said that. No one thought that. Everyone thought, boy, these dick guys have been waking. Didn't they say they've been working on this thing for a decade? Didn't they say that? Like, I remember them saying it's been a decade in the works. That's bullshit, dude. Come on. A decade? And this is what they deliver? Come on. That's a bunch of bullshit. Uh, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen the porpoising either in the TDM. Or I call the hip-hop the hip hop uh, uh, flight model. I did a video on it. Check my YouTube channel. I haven't flown the longitude. I'm going to... Uh, maybe I'll fly that Saturday. Maybe we'll do an on-air longitude flight on Saturday. Yeah, we'll give that an experiment and see how it is. I think it's time. It's been two releases since I start since I tried it. Okay, that's cool. I mean, but we'll give it a shot and see. We'll see how it is. I think it's time. We own one. The, the group or the uh, the virtual airline owns one in uh, on air, so might as well fly it, right? Didn't I buy one? I think I did. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll give, we'll give it a shot for, uh, Saturday morning. So come on in and join, and uh, and uh, we'll check it out. Oh, you rented a three twenty and made hundred k ninety k nine hundred k in the first flight. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's a good reason to learn learn how to. What did it cost? Did it cost like uh, two hundred grand to rent it, or more than that, right? Probably two hundred. Does it cost two hundred grand to rent it? Something like that. That's why I wanted to learn to fly it, so I could fly those you know big those big long hauls. Okay. Right. So you got to have six fifty down. 65k per hour and you ended up you ended up netting 900k yeah that's the um the mod right I, everyone says don't even bother flying it unless you have the mod which to me i say to myself why doesn't a sobo contact the mod people with a mod and say let us implement that make it part of the code You know, why doesn't a sobo contact them and say, you know, here's a, here's here's five grand or here's a couple grand or whatever, and you know, buy the mod, put it and implement it. You know, yeah, I, I got to pick one. I got to pick a big jet to learn, and I it's either going to be the three, it's probably going to be the three twenty because I think that's the one that that flies the best. So. I'll have to. I'm gonna have to learn how to fly that 320. I, I'm assuming. I mean, it's an FMS very similar to. 
to uh, the Challenger. I have issues with the FMS. It, was a little, it looks like a little difference. The FMS input thing, I need to learn how to use that properly. I don't know how to use that, like all the weights and stuff like that. And like, I know it's probably less... Con- yeah, MCDU. Thank you. I don't know what the hell it's called. I'm a GA. I'm a GA guy, Alex. Click, click. Yeah, I need to learn how to use that and like all the all that shit, so I can you know properly fly it, so you guys aren't laughing at me, which I don't care if you do or not. I just want to get it from point A to point B. So if I can do that, and you know make 900k uh, and on air, then you can get rich pretty quick. Get a fleet of A3. What do they? How much do they cost? To buy one, like twenty million or something. It's nice if you have a soft button fetish, which you have. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think that's the plane I'm going to have to learn how to fly. So my question is, am I, should I learn how to fly it on stream, which might be helpful to others that are learning how to fly it? I know there's a lot of tutorial videos. There's one guy, A320 pilot, who's a real pilot. He has some great videos, which I wa- I've been watching. Um, I think I, I, I want to have a, some semblance of an understanding of how to fly the beast before I um, publicly take off and land with it, you know? Yeah, I just have to, like I said, as long as I, like, like even the Challenger, like, I don't know all the systems in the Challenger. I've learned them as I've been flying it, but I learned, like, a couple shortcuts that got me to the point where I can, you know, operate it. And if I have an issue, I know I'm not freaking out. I know how to handle emergencies with it, you know? Yeah, the longitude's fine, but the problem with the longitude is it only... You can only put, what, 8 people in it or 12 people in it? It has a limited amount of cargo, and the fuel burn on it is awful. You can only fly, like, 900 miles, 850 miles. So, um, it's a lot easier to fly... The 5,000 makes this total easy bird to fly. But, you know, if you can fly the A320, then you can put 190 people in, 180 people, something like that in it. And in on air, which is, a, you know, which is, oh, look at this, we got a little bumpsy bumpsies going here. Check my fuel tanks. All right, we're on the right, we're good. 131 people, okay. You can make a lot of money, like like uh, Bar- Bartholomew did. Can I call you Bart? Um, 900K in one flight. What was that like a, cu- a couple-hour flight, three-hour flight, something like that? That's how you make money in on-air. You fly the big birds, you know? Can't think around with the little th- stuff, you know? So you fly, you know, you have to... Three hour, three hour, three and a half hours. So you're probably talking about what, uh, twelve hundred miles, something like that, fifteen hundred miles. Um, yeah, I mean, in real life, you're right, but not in uh, flight flight simulator, Joseph. In flight simulator, they've got it wrong. They've got the fuel burn wrong. Um, it only has enough fuel to fly like 800, 800 miles, something like that. They haven't corrected it, and it's way down on the totem pole for them to correct it. So I think the A320's burn is, be- is closer to real life, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, get a lot of turbulence here. Look at this. Here's that DA-62 right there. Ah, 
absolutely get a picture of that. Absolutely. DA-62 represents. Doing the cha-cha there a little bit though. Let's plug that. Ding, 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 ding. There's all you guys back there. Yeah, you could do tricks exactly. I mean, if you had, um, you could fly to Hawaii, right? I mean, you could make a Hawaii flight in it from San, from L.A. or San Francisco. You could make a, a Hawaii flight in it if you had if you had enough fuel. But you can't do that. The Challenger, you can fly to Hawaii. In an X-Plane, you can fly that plane to Hawaii. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of your update. Like I said, I haven't been on on air. I haven't really looked at it at all. Oh, there's our, there's our airport, I guess. Okay. Jabbering away. And uh, we're going to go off autopilot now, guys. We've got a little snow on the ground down there. It's a nice airport. Wrangle. If you guys want to come in, I'll uh, get out. I'll get out of my uh, plane here and watch you guys land. So if you want to delay your landing a little bit, give it a few minutes, and I'll get myself off the runway and uh, see if I can get you guys on stream here while you're landing. That'd be kind of cool. You guys want to circle around, do a pattern. Five hundred. Thank you. So the SR-22 is really easy to, well, relatively easy to land. You want to be about 80 knots over the gate. And then flare it up. And then just drop the throttle, throttle to idle. And let the energy bleed out of the plane. Idle. Bleed out of the plane. Nice and easy landing. Hit those brakes. Clear the runway for these other knuckleheads. Schmeared it. <laughs> Thank you. Who do we have coming in here? Who cares how it flies? Flies like crap, you won't care, right? should show you guys a t-shirt. I got the t-shirt all ready to go. All 
All right, pressure's on, guys. Your pressure is on. I shut the plane off. There's a TBM coming in. Oh, let's see. Ooh, nice. Nice job. Hero Tech, nice job. Here comes Trotter in the DA62, nice and low. Nice job. Lonely Rowboat in the SR22. Very nice. So far, three butters. Martog, we know, is a little bit behind, but we'll wait. We'll wait. I know, uh, US, USA PR1, I know, has got the, ooh, he's got the King Air, so this should be, uh, this should be good. Coming in hot. Oh, butter. That doesn't look like a king. Oh, that's no, that's the Baron. There's Martok, sorry. That's the Baron. Doesn't look like a Baron. Oh, there's a Bonanza. And here comes uh, the King Air. Looks like you didn't have your gear down there for a second. Like your gear appeared at the last second there. All right, let's line up for a photo op, guys. Fill in the spots. All right, there you go. Well, you just, just, it just appeared. There's a Bonanza. How is that Bonanza? I haven't really flown that yet. Go right there, dude. There you go. Right over here, right where my mouse is, right there, right. Get in close, right in there. Come on. A little bit more. Go over to your right. Go over to your right. There you go. You can get up. You can get up even more if you want. King Air coming right. Uh, actually, SR22. Just move up a little bit, please. Give the King Air a little room. And the King Air brings up the rear. Where the hell you going, dude? No, dude, come up. You gotta come over here for the photo op. You gotta come right over here. Look where my mouse is. You gotta turn around. I can't get you in the picture unless I could do this, I guess. There you go. We'll do that. Can you come in right there? Come to your right a little bit. I didn't know there was a mod for the Bonanza. I'll have to check that out. All right, cool. Well, let's, let me get this photo shot right there like that. This looks like it's going to be the cover. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> I didn't take the picture. Where are you going?
you going, dude? Here's going to get in better position. All right. Like it's like herding cats. Hey, USAPR, make a left. Now make a left and come up right up close. Oh, we lost the SR-22. What happened? Oh, dude. Got to be there. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn off... Um, I'm going to turn off the uh, nameplate thingies. Because it'll look better. Where's that SR-22? Come on back in. Come on back in. There you go. That looks better. Photo op. Say cheese. Say cheese. I think that wouldn't be good. All right, guys. Well, listen, I appreciate you guys flying with me. That was a lot of fun. Total fun. I'll post some of those pictures in the Discord if you want to check them out uh, later on. And, uh, yeah, thanks for flying. I, I mean, I like these group flights. I think they're fun, you know. You're not worried about doing a job. You're just flying somewhere, checking out the scenery and yapping. And that's kind of fun, you know. All right, so yeah, definitely be back on Saturday morning, 9.30 a.m. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do now and hit the like button. That'd be awesome. And uh, again, thanks a lot for hanging out tonight, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, enough runway to take off? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, David, thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. Yeah, we could do another takeoff. I'm going to sign off, though, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll watch you guys take off. All right? All right, guys, take care. Have a great day. Or I should say evening. See ya.